Did you know that Ebenezer Scrooge had a cousin? Well, his name was Henry. And Henry was just as crusty and cold-hearted as Ebenezer was, maybe more so. Well, it was Christmas Eve when Henry died a lonely death. You see, the three spirits that visited Ebenezer didn't make it in time to help Henry change his nasty ways. Anyway, Henry found himself standing in the clouds at the pearly gates with St. Peter reviewing his life. You're going to hell, <laughs> is what St. Peter said. Henry got a little scared and asked, well, what can I do to get into heaven? Well, St. Peter looked at Henry and said, to gain entrance into heaven, you must prove to me you understand the meaning of Christmas. You do this by giving me three examples of what Christmas truly means. Ah, then he pulled out a, a wooden match out of his pocket. And he lit it. And St. Peter asked, what's that? Henry said, it's the star of Bethlehem, the Christmas star, the one the wise men followed to find baby Jesus in the manger. Then Henry pulled out a set of keys, started shaking them right under St. Peter's nose. St. Peter said, stop that. What the heck is that? Henry said, the bells of Christmas, ringing in celebration of Jesus Christ. Henry, well, he was getting a little nervous now. I mean, sweat was rolling down his brow. He had to think of one more thing to gain access into heaven. Then it dawned on him. He pulled out a pair of sexy women's panties. St. Peter looked at him and said, what in God's name are those? Henry smiled. Ah, uh, he said, they're carols. Thanks for watching. You know, if you want to give me a little Christmas present, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. That'd be great. <laughs> or check out the 12 Shots of Christmas or any of my other Christmas cocktails. Anyway, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a grand time.